I found it really hard to feel emotions. I couldn't love anyone. Um, I didn't know what it was to love. And I was numb. I remember just being really, really, really numb. Just really, really numb. And so there was stuff that was just way too hard for me to go into, to delve into, to look at. And so I just needed to completely focus and have a reason for living. And that was why I just put everything into money. And I just wouldn't go there as far as feelings and emotions went because my feelings, if they were ever unleashed, were too powerful for me and I felt like I might drown. A relationship of mine had broken up. I was meant to be engaged and I, I broke that up and I just felt that my one goal now was to have money. I didn't need men anymore in my life. I was never going to find anyone that would make me happy and the only thing that could make me happy was money. But I was quite tired because I'd worked for so many years for such long hours and I'd been running out of energy. And so when the people I was actually working with at the time were using, they introduced it to me at a work do, and they were really respectable. They had money, and they were wearing suits, and like they weren't, they didn't look like people who were sort of losers. And so I thought, well, well that's who I want to be, and, and if they can do it, I can. My life was work. I just worked and worked and worked. I worked seven days a week as well. And so I remember going to sign up deals with clients, and I'd been night clubbing all night. I'd um, just rushed home, had a quick shower. I was even going And I remember one guy, he said, this is the fastest contract I've ever signed. Because I'd just be going, right, sign here. I talk fast anyway, but it's amazing how fast I could talk. I liked the fact that alcohol made you do really dumb things, and you'd regret it afterwards. With speed, I knew what I was doing. Yes, I might have been too fast, but I knew what I was doing and I was in control, I felt, at the time. And so that made me feel very much in control. It really sat well with my personality, with my goals. And I loved the fact it made me lose weight as well. And um, it killed my appetite. So yeah, it put me on a high, made me strong. And I went and enjoyed my life. I felt it made me happy. You know what I really believe now? I believe that whilst all these amazing people were in my life, kids was good, everything was good, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to deal with what I needed to deal with. I wasn't ready to hear. Things just went in one ear and out the other. People would say, you're okay, and I'd have this belief, I'm not okay, I'm not okay, I'm not okay, and I couldn't receive what I needed to hear at the time, and I wasn't ready. So I know that when I was ready, everything changed in a moment for me but I wasn't ready up until then. So I became really lonely because all the stuff that you do at the clubs, it's all just, yeah, let's dance, let's dance, let's dance, but there's no real deep stuff that happens. And so even though I had a lot of people around me, it was all a bit of a false life. I was trapped because I couldn't really see a way of not using. How would that work? So I needed to use, and I was just trapped in that whole sort of lifestyle. It even got to the point, um, where I went down to 43 kilograms. And I remember thinking it was one Christmas, I think that would have been about um, 99, going into 2000, where I was that light and I looked at myself in the mirror. I thought, wow, you know, I was going to children's wear shops to buy clothes because even the smallest shops wouldn't have the smallest clothes for me. And people were noticing that I didn't look right. And I just remember, you know, I think I might die. I think I might have to kill myself now because I don't know how I can get out of this. I don't know what I can do. And I'd just be crushing up E's, whatever I had left, crushing up E's and crushing up speed and snorting them before I started work each day. And that was a real low point. I just think it can happen to anybody. And um, I just think it's a world that's really enticing and looks wonderful on the outside, but it's just got death written all over it. And um, I just really, really hope that the message can get through. There is hope. There is, while there is life, there is hope. And be strong, you can do it. Every journey, I know it's like a, one of those sayings, but every journey starts with the first step. Just take the first step and just live in the today. You don't have to say, oh, it's gonna take me 10 years or three years. Just live in today and get through today and learn what you can from today. And you're gonna grow and you're gonna get there.